Edisto River near Givens Ferry is about three tenths shy from reaching its highest crest level of 17 and a half feet. Some parts of a community alongside that river are completely underwater. Our Caroline Spikes has a look at the flooding out there today and shares what neighbors are saying. We're in the Edisto River re or recreational area alongside McDaniel Town Road here in Collagen County. I'm on a boat right now, as y'all can see. I mean, there are homes almost fully submerged. There's an eight foot fence. You know, we're seeing about two feet left. We're on what it was originally a dirt road and I'm here with neighbors and they tell me that they think this water could be about six feet deep. Again, this was a road once upon a time before all of this rainfall. Neighbors say it wasn't until after the rain left this area that the flooding came. You know, but it just caught us all off guard that got this high. Many had to evacuate their homes, leaving cars behind. Road signs, trailers, homes, and mailboxes are almost fully submerged underwater as of Sunday evening. Two people who were born and raised in this community said they have never seen anything like this before. If you don't have to come down McDaniel Town Road, please bypass it. There are bad spots out here and it's real dangerous, right. real dangerous. Robertson and Bresh agreed. 2015 was up to 16.2, I believe it was. But this is the highest anybody ever seen. Nobody ever seen this. The river's crest has hit 17.2 feet after bringing in the rainfall from the upstate. After the thousand year flood, Bresh said a part of his property wasn't considered a flood zone, but had seven inches in a garage. So guys, right, my next door neighbor, he's been out here for almost 60 years and he, he has never even seen it. They said they think it could take about a week to go down as long as the rain holds off. This is our river life right here. You just adjust with the river and then, yep. and then and um, it goes down. We go back to normal life again and wait to the next flood. Reporting Caroline Spikes, Live 5 News.